and welcome to Crankworks Rotorua. This is Inside the Tape, and I'm here with Ryan Nyquist here at the Slope Style in memory of Magaza. You got fourth here last year, you got third at the Crankworks uh, Slope Style, yeah. and now you're ready for Rotorua once more. Tell me about the course. What's it like? It's a little bit different this year, but uh, flowy and wild and cool as ever, eh? Yeah, just, I mean, these courses just like they, they work. So first goes through, it's like usually you make it all the way down the bottom. Awesome. Well, let's go like, look at some of the features and uh, yeah. see how it breaks down and give us some of your insight from out of the, out of the brain yeah, of Ryan Nyquist. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. All right. <laughs> All right, Ryan, so we're off uh, out of the start here and uh, down the wooden ramp and uh, boosting the, the first maneuver here. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is a pretty decent sized step down with a nice lip. Um, honestly, it's it's really easy, but it's just terif like a terrifying way to like try to warm up as this is the first thing you have to hit. So, but once you get off there, off this, it's like really chill. You land in there pretty good and then you're off the next, like pretty much on the roller and then the sept second obstacle. Okay, so how far have we got there? I got it right on the lip where you take off your run. So distance wise, probably to the sweet spot, we're looking at about 10 meters, so like 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah, about 30 feet to the sweet spot. That's a, that's a way to start. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you, like that's the first thing you do when you get here. It's like, yeah, let's do this massive step down for breakfast. Yay. <laughs> After you land the first big landing, you have a big roller here, which I guess you can either pump for more speed or scrub to slow things down and adjust your speed. Yeah, and that's part of the new feature here is basically that roller wasn't there before. Um, we still had the dirt to dirt, but like roller's new. So you land, you can adjust your speed on that or pump if you need more. And then you're kind of heading to this new feature right here, which is kind of more of like a shark fin. The lip goes a little bit taller, like on the left side and then a little bit shorter. So you can get a little more pop or you can like just really make sure you're lined up for the for the next one, which is like the King Kong booter. But this one's, it's new. Everybody's kind of getting used to it and adjusted. So everybody's like, you know, last year everybody got here, knew what to expect. And now they kind of threw us the curveball. It's like, okay, let's figure this out. Is it a little bit harder to trick than last year? Uh, harder because it's new. I think every year, well last year everybody, well not me, but everybody else was like, oh I remember this and they got here and were like comfortable. So now it's like putting everybody a little bit outside of the comfort zone and making them try a little bit harder. And uh, for those wondering why I'm not actually going down there measuring, because we had a little bit of rain and as you can see this, uh, this plastic will quickly become a slip and slide. So I'm just going like a couple meters past to like the sweet spot of landing. So whatever it is on the knuckle, I kind of add a little bit and then that's how we get the measurement. So. Not exact science, but we're doing our best out here, okay? All right, so measuring this guy to the sweet spot is just about 14 meters, which is like 42, 45 feet. 45.9. <laughs> I, my guess on this was 35 feet earlier, and that's way longer, and now I'm actually stressing it a bit. <laughs> this is the biggest jump I've ever jumped. Ever? By far. Running start for the King Kong booter. Oh, oh, nice one! It's up here. <laughs> Four meters, ish. Twelve, 12 feet. thirteen, something like that. Yeah, it's it, this is large, <laughs> but this thing, this thing throws you so nice. Like it's a bit of a step up too. So like, I've been just flipping this thing, and it's it's like a dream. Yeah, it's it's seriously the best jump out here. I feel like because it's just every single time you have so much speed coming off that jump, and you you can never have enough speed for this thing. Really? It seriously goes so high in this thing, it would, be, it would still feel perfect. So this is like my, by far my favorite lift. So the King Kong booter has a huge landing, so I guess you really can go as big as you want, eh? Yeah, I mean, it'll catch you like, I mean, you can't get down there, but it's like people are landing, you know, within a foot or two of those, and they're still making the next set. So the King Kong booter with the King Kong landing. I mean, look, it's literally like 50 to 60 feet long, I'd say, maybe more. It's massive. It's like a football field. <laughs> so now we got all this speed coming into it, and you've got this uh, little slight hip to the right, eh? Yeah, new feature right here, and uh, it's dirt to dirt, right hand hip. Um, like I said before, Woo! let's go down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? That's amazing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so yeah, this guy right here, um, right hand hip. This used to be where the cannon log was, and uh, they switched things around. So this is a big right hand hip. Um, really long lip so you're just like riding up it and so like any kind of speed you have on this this kind of crushes it and you'll see this whole middle section the speed for it is really lower than what you have up there so like you're going flying but then they build this one real long so it kind of slows it back down and keeps things like momentum so it's, it's nice flow to the course they really like did a lot of thinking when they built it but um this one like i said is new so people are trying to figure it out like throwing stuff on it 360s i haven't seen too many flip people flip it but a lot of spinning going on it Big step 
to the sweet spot, I'd say it's probably about 10 meters, which I would I would normally say is like 30 feet, but let's ask Siri. Convert 10 meters to feet, please. The answer is 32.81 feet. There you go, 32.81 feet. Slightly hips. Slightly hips. So I mean, obviously, if you if you take an outside line, it's going to be longer. If you go inside, it's going to be shorter. But on average, I'd say probably 30 to 32 feet. Yeah. Pretty gnarly. What have you been hitting on this, uh, so far? Now that you're getting used to a new jump. Um, like I said, I've, I've been just 360. I did a couple straight tricks, but like majority of guys I see are just like tail whips, 360s, stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm curious because like a lot of times when you're riding the course, like you're at the bottom and someone else is riding the top, you don't get to see it. So on contest day, you really get to see what everybody's working on. Like, cause sometimes you ride with some guys and you don't see anybody else. And then like contest day, it's like, Ooh, what do you got, man? Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. So we've got a big step up into a slightly smaller step up. Yep. And then we've got this thing, which is uh, not really a boner log cause it's so wide. What, what do you call it now? Uh, people can call it like a cannon, cannon log. Okay. So it kind of looks like a cannon, like wheels and Someone needs to re-aim it because it's like off to the side a little bit. This one's a little bit smaller than most cannon logs we've had, uh, distance-wise and step-down-wise. So it's a uh, a couple guys got here and we're like, oh man, this is like the smallest one we've ever had. Um, but like I said, it makes people think. You know, it makes them like instead of just having that knee-jerk like, oh, this is the trick I'm gonna do. It's like you start just thinking about like, what should I do? Because like a lot of them, you have a lot of hang time because it's a big step-down. Like like Whistler was huge. Like it was a massive one, probably three times the size of this. So yeah. now it's like okay, but like again, like you just make people get outside their comfort zone, and all of a sudden it's like you see some new stuff, unique, and they start thinking, and that's where creativity comes from. So I'm excited about this. Um, what are you gonna do off this? I don't know actually. I, I like I've been just 360 in it, so I might insert some variations of 360s. But uh, I've seen a lot of guys like really going off. So, like I said, you just never know until game time. But like, there's gonna be some good moves on this as well. All right. So measurement on this bad boy. Well, I'm falling. It is. I'd say to the sweet spot where you want to land, about seven meters. So, let's see. The answer is 22.97 feet. So almost 23 feet. Okay. Yeah. So that's that is considerably smaller than everything we've got going on so far. Yeah. So it's like it's like I said, the speed scrub. Like you just start losing speed, losing speed, and then you get here, and then all of a sudden it kicks into the bottom again. So, um, real quick, thank you, Siri. You're welcome. So after the cannon log, you're right into the on-off, and uh, like you're saying, you pick up a lot of speed when you get off this thing, eh? Yeah. This is probably the slowest part of the course, and then literally you do another step up onto the on-off. And then once you hit that drop, it's just like you start screaming. So this part, you're going to see a lot of guys doing some pretty creative stuff on this too because you kind of have a little bit of leeway even though it's terrifying because there's absolutely no, like there's no safety deck, anything like that. So if you don't make it up, you just fall to your death basically. Um, there's hay bales down there. Not on this side. Oh, there is. I didn't know. See, now I feel better. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worse up top, but better down below. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but yeah, so like I think a lot of guys are doing some pretty fun stuff up here and then also down. But yeah, like when you get that down part it's like you instantly start going like i think last year they clocked it at 30 miles per hour that's like, fast not even joking 30 miles per hour towards that like long and low so this feature is really fun a little bit more forgiving but yeah this is where like the tempo of the whole course starts changing again and then you start screaming i want to rock 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 rock, rock, rock. <laughs> i want to rock, rock. <laughs> yeah So, to the sweet spot, maybe eight to nine meters. Uh, and that's just distance out. So, let's go with eight meters, uh, 24, 25, 26 feet, something like that. So, it's quite a bit of distance. The drop, I would guess, would be like, I don't know, somewhere 17 to 18 feet tall. So, it's just, I mean, yeah, they're just monsters, man. It's a nightmare material, really. <laughs> We are now standing in the bottom of the long and low, and it is really far from way over there to way over there. Yeah. And have you ever hit anything like this, like in, in the BMX world? Like, is, like, tell me about this. No, I, I've never, like, never on a BMX. I, I think it would work here because everything's so well groomed. But I think I said earlier that that was probably the biggest jump I've ever hit, and I think this is probably going to be now the new biggest jump I've ever hit. Yeah. <laughs> so once we get the measurement, but yeah, this is like basically the long and low. You're screaming fast. It's like probably four miles long and then 
after this is just like that's the Showtime Buddha where everybody's keller out around. But this guy right here is like another area where if you can do something here and have something to offer, then you can kind of like rack up a little bit extra points. So a lot of guys just doing tuck no handers here. Um, some guys flipping it. So you know, really another point where you can really shine in your run if you really want to. And like you say, you're doing 30 miles an hour coming into this. Yeah, and you're screaming, so it makes anything you do on this just that much harder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, long and low. Let's go measure this one. Yeah. I right, but you you want to see this? Do you want to see this or not? <laughs> yeah, you do this side. You do, I'll, I'll do the side where I'm like, you got it? And then, here, no, actually, this side. You do the measurement. You don't want to know. I don't. He doesn't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, Ryan, I don't know if you want to know this or not, but it's 14 meters. <laughs> Is it really? 14 meters. Honestly. Feet, no, no. Honestly. Yeah. Where's Siri? Convert 14 meters to feet, please. 45.93 feet. 45.93 feet. <laughs> that's huge, man. That's another monster. That's that's by far the biggest. So the, the funny thing is I hit this last year and I didn't know it was the biggest. And now I know it's the biggest. I probably shouldn't be doing this before finals, honestly. Okay, so after you land the long and low here, the huge long and low, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, massive. You've still got massive speed, still probably doing 30. Yeah, at least 30, and then basically heading with tons of room to spare, heading at this, so like plenty of time to set up, plenty of time to think about what you're doing. Almost too much time, really. I kind of wish it was closer so you could just be brainless and make it work, but like when you're chilling that long, you're like, okay, okay, just when you get on the lip, don't turn too hard, just hard enough, you know? So you start thinking about it, but, uh, but this is basically the spot where you want to make everything happen. Like judges are right there, the whole crowd is here. So, and this is like your final impression of the course. So it's like for you to be able to like just bolt down a run up there and then finish it off here is like that's what you want. You want to be going. It's showtime. Exactly. You want to land right around that berm and just be like, yes, like that that feeling, you know. And if, if you're Nikolai, you go like this. You go. <laughs> so that's the goal, you know. I want to I want to be like Nikolai. And then you want one of these. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what you want. But yeah, but this is a spot for it, you know, like and that's kind of the dream. Everybody wants to get like that whole entire run done, get down here and then just stick this perfect and just have that moment. Because for me last year, I did that. I got like fourth place and I pulled my run and it was just like, wow, this is like you just feel like someone took like two tons off your shoulders. So this is this is the spot and this looks pretty big as well. I mean, look, it's like uh, maybe two, no, one and a half of you, maybe. I'm six feet, so this is like, you know, double me. Yeah, it's like a ten, like ten, maybe? Ten Just under double? Yeah. So ten foot tall, um, you know, I'm not sure what the distance, we can measure it, but like the landing's huge, it's a nice little step up, so it's a comfortable jump, but it's got so much importance on it, you know, so it's, it weighs pretty heavy. What do you got in the bag for this? Uh, like, a, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I actually, I don't know. I was thinking about sevens, and then I crashed a couple, and now I'm trying to see your elbow. You see, you got a little, 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 little. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Yeah. Does it hurt? Slap. Ooh, it probably would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's measure it out and uh, we'll know the facts since we're getting all the facts here. Yeah. And uh, you'll scare yourself a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I have the trusty 510s on and have excellent traction with the Stealth S1 rubber. Yes! Yes! If you look in the dictionary for Mountain Bike Ninja Warrior, it says cannot be found. Well played, Mountain Bike Ninja Warrior. Well played. <laughs> all right, so. Measurement for the last hit, I'd say the sweet spot is probably nine meters. So nine times three, 27. 27 to 30 feet, I'd say. Again, this is where you want to pull everything. You want to just finish your run. Because if you get through all that and then you crash here, it's almost like, I did all that for nothing. Like, ah, uh, so you really want to finish strong here for sure. Whoa. <laughs> and this that's where you celebrate! And then you throw the bike, you're like, well, yeah. And then you're like, and oh, then do the <laughs> And then get one of these. <laughs> and then my personal celebration, you're like this. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us into your brain. Yeah, buddy. And I hope you enjoyed the show with Ryan Nyquist here. This is Inside the Tape. I'm Brett Tippy. If you like this, give us a like. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, yeah, and we'll see you next time. Boom. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you at the Soap Style. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? We did all that for nothing. We're gonna start. Go to the top and start over. <laughs>